What's up guys, welcome back to Doc's Pop Reviews. There's been a lot of news about Cobra Kai Season 4 being released, Terry Silver making a return, and I started thinking about the Karate Kid movies as a whole, and who are some other characters we would like to see return. I started thinking about some minor characters that could just make some cameos. Alright, so let's start with Freddy. Freddy was in Karate Kid Part 1. He had a brief friendship with Daniel. He's in the beginning. You don't see a ton of him in the middle. And then you see him at the end. Is He's actually cheering Daniel on at the All Valley. And so maybe Freddy owns a restaurant. And it kind of ties in with this shirt about the making bacon. Just kind of a little Easter egg there. And Daniel and Johnny end up eating at that restaurant. Or, or something like that. Just a very brief cameo. Hey, Freddy. Freddy, so good to see you. Or he doesn't have to have a major story arc or he doesn't have to help Daniel out. Just something simple. He owns a restaurant or he's there to buy a car. I think it'd be kind of cool to have Freddy pop up. Next person would be Dutch. Now, Dutch was a surprise that we did not see when the rest of Cobra Kai had a little mini reunion. That was a very powerful episode. And they do explain his absence. I hope they don't see that as, well, we tried to get Dutch. Too bad we'll never see him again. I hope they bring him in and that they address that. You know, Johnny and Dutch have a little bit of tension. Dutch, you should have been there. Why weren't you there? Like I said, he already knows why he wasn't there, but kind of getting on to him you know you need to get your life in order and maybe dutch still has some animosity towards crease he has some animosity towards Larusso, and this one can be a little bit more of a story rather than just a cameo but even if it is just a brief passing you know him and johnny see each other go grab a beer or something like that real quick would still love to see dutch make an appearance next one I think he was a very important part of the Karate Kid history, both on and off screen, and he is still alive. Pat E. Johnson. I don't think we ever get a character's name for him. He's just the referee. But behind the scenes, man, he did a lot of stuff. So I feel like maybe at the All Valley, they could be like, oh, in honor of, you know, and they actually give his character a name. And they give him like a lifetime achievement award or he's going to be a special judge today or that'd be kind of cool to have him in. And then last but not least, this is one I think a lot of people may disagree, but I'm going to say it anyway. This is Charlie from The Next Karate Kid. If you notice, the actor is Walton Goggins. Walton Goggins has had an incredible career. He's voice on Invincible. He had a great long run on a popular TV show, one of my favorite TV shows, Justified. He's in several hit movies. Uh, He makes guest appearances on other shows. He's had a long, long career. And I think even just a cameo from him in this universe in Cobra Kai would elevate whatever scene he's in. Whoever he's acting with is going to elevate. I don't think he should come in as a bad guy. I don't think he should have a long story or anything like that, or even cross paths with Julie Pierce. It could be something as simple as he's trying to buy a car from Daniel LaRusso, and he just, yeah, hey, my name's Charlie, da, 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 and that's it. Maybe that makes the Karate Kid universe a little small if we bring him in, but I don't know. I'm just a fan of Walton Goggins, and I want to see him in it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about these four characters making cameos? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are there some people that I missed that you want to see make a cameo or that you want to see appear in the show? Leave your comments down below and as always like share and subscribe thanks guys